think 3D printing is just for making models and trinkets and toys? Well, today I'm going to show you practical application that you can use anywhere in your house, your workshop, anywhere you need organization. And this is just a tip of the iceberg. So see you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. As I said in the beginning, organization. It's always a pain in the butt, isn't it? But a lot of times organization and organizers and different things like that can be really expensive if you go buy them in the store. They're not cheap. And a lot of times they're just flimsy plastic or they're expensive metal and they're just flashy. Well, organization is something everybody needs in their life at some point. Even me, um, as much as I hate to admit it, I can be one of the most disorganized people out there. But organization can be really important and really critical to getting anything done that you're after doing. Like for me, for example, my printers are organized in an assembly line. My, my resin printers are an assembly line. But when it comes down to finishing these models, I didn't really have a good area to do it. So I made an area to do it. And one of the main pieces is pegboard. And I just, I didn't want to spend the money to buy the metal pegboard hooks. And you're gonna see my pegboard here in a minute from all my paints and tools and organization. And I will tell you right now, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight metal hooks that I did buy, but everything else on this board is done with 3D printing. So all my paint organizers, my paint brush holders, my paper towel holder, uh, the hooks for the pegboard, I 3D printed all of it at a fraction of the cost it would have cost me to buy it. Now I know I could go to Harbor Freight and different things like that and get kits for fairly cheap, but just some time on my printer, I did the organization myself. And also, you know, there's even cubes like these that I'm working on right now that you can actually print and scale the size that you need that can be really cool model holders and different things like that. So you're not limited to what you can do. Not even by your printer size, because this is modular. I mean, you can see right here, I mean, these are a separate piece and then you have the panels that interlock to create the storage organizer. And there's, you'll see a honeycomb over here, one similar to this that's holding my paint. And I'm gonna show you guys my paint table. Then I'm gonna show you the time lapses of me making this stuff. And uh, it's not hard. Um, the models are all over Thingiverse. There's a lot of ways that you can organ do this, pick your models, or even go into Tinkercad or Fusion 360 and make your own models. But before we hop over to that, if you guys enjoy the content you're seeing on the channel today, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, join the crew. Let me know that I'm doing videos that you enjoy and that you like to see. Um, all this content is out there for you guys to help you guys build to build your own setup, build your own rig that you know even I want to see sometimes. You know that's what the whole Facebook group is for. Join in there, show us your own rig, show us what's going on. Show us how you took 3D printing and did something practical like making your own organization. Increasing your organization without having to go buy things. Printing more than just toys and trinkets. It's, it's a philosophy to keep in mind that 3D printing, can, you can do almost anything with it. As long as the material is strong enough for what you want. Which I mean, you can print carbon fiber for crying out loud. It doesn't get much stronger than that. So... Be thinking about that as you go through and consider, or if you're in 3D printing, looking at how you want to build up your 3D printing method. Now I've got videos out there on printing components for your printers, different things like that. This is a little just desk organization video, but I think it's kind of cool and really important to show how you organize yourself. It is very important to being able to do the hobby that you want to do. And one of mine is, you know, I do model painting. I'm working on painting these guys right now. Um, if you never notice, some of these leave the shelf, some of these come back. Um, that may be because I took it down and I was painting on it, or I was working on it to try to make it something a little bit better fit in my mind. Um, so, I mean, Master Chief over here, he's one of my latest ones that he may have been out of the shot, I don't know, um, that I've been working on the paint. Um, I haven't fully assembled him yet. He's just somewhat painted. I'm not done yet. I'm not sure if I want to do a wash on him and make him look like he's been fighting or not, or with brand new armor. But... It's kind of one of those things, keep 3D printing in mind that it also has this practical application in the household. Um, another video that may be coming, if you guys want to see it, is five prints that I found very practical for my kitchen. Um, just to help 
with organization in there that I took the 3D printer and made the kitchen easier to use. So, and those prints are not getting involved in food. They are just prints that helped organize our kitchen. So, if you guys wanna see that, let me know down in the comments below. I'll gladly do a video on that. But let's get over to the paint table so I can show you what, you, what I did, and then I'll show you the time lapses of how I did it. So, see you guys over at the paint table. So guys, this is my paint table. This is where I take off support, where I work on my models after I print them and try to make things look awesome and get them up there so I can show you guys how we did it. And as you can see, kind of one of the things off to the side here, I'm starting to try to get to where I'm gonna show you more of the process as I go through with these models, especially with me starting to really kind of tee into resin printing. Um, and different things like that. And that was Roger Young from Starship Troopers in a miniature. Uh, got him, he's not printed, he, he's bought, but I still enjoy playing with him. He was in a box and I decided to put them together. But almost everything on this board that is holding something is 3D printed. The tester paint holders, the Citadel paint holders, the Vallejo paint, the hooks. These, I mean, I printed 20 of these in about an hour. I mean, and you'll pay for a box of 20s. You may pay five or six bucks and I maybe spent a dollar, um, if even that. And all of these organizers, my paintbrush holders, these holders, um, even the failures where this one model failed, it was supposed to be more of these, it failed. That's still useful. That's not worth throwing away. So I will find them and find a spot and use them. Um, you need bigger hooks. They're out there. Yes, they're plastic, they're not metal but they'll still do a lot of the job that you need them to do. Pencil holders, organizers, X-Acto knife organizers. Uh, if you paint with Citadel paint, you know the lid likes to close a lot. There's awesome holders out there that you can print that will hook for either the larger or the smaller of the pots and hold the lid open for you. Um, I've actually got a couple versions that I printed. Um, just kind of testing them out. There's a lot that you can do with 3D printing to do organization. Here's that honeycomb I talked about a little bit earlier. And all I've got to doing is holding a lot of my tester paint bottles, um, which is nice They're on the side. So I can see exactly what color I'm after. So I did my organizing around paint. That's what I'm doing here. I'm using my X-Acto knives. I'm doing model work. And that's how I organize this table. But the rules still apply to going to out into your wood shop, your car shop your car tools, um, your car rolling cabinet. You can organize, print organizers to go in those drawers to help organize your tools. They even have out on Thingiverse, there's different socket organizers that you can slide your socket on. You need a screwdriver holder? Go print it, don't buy it. You already bought the printer. Print the stuff. And they have them out on the models or make it yourself either using Tinkercad or uh, Fusion or Open OpenCat, Skip. I don't remember the name of that one, but We'll put it down the list probably. But there's all kinds of ways that you can find and do this. And if you have a problem finding sites to find models, skip back to my five, my five top ways to find models. Uh, we'll put a link right there up in there so you can get to it. There's all kinds of different ways to find this. Now, this is just my setup. This is where I work with my 3D printing pen and different things to work on models so they can get out. Um, and as I said, Models over on the shelf may come over here to be painted. It's just kind of where I'm working at at the time and what I'm working on at the time. And I did try to clean it up a little bit, but it's a mess. Um, even if you're a big miniature painter, this handle is 3D printed. It's just a rubber band inside these two clips that let me have that tension to print or to paint on my purchased uh, Warhammer models. So. It's definitely something to think about when you've got this ability to print. Now I'm not saying go print Warhammer. No, 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 no. Copyright is everything. But the handle, I mean, it's just a tool that I found a model out there and this helps me paint a lot because I can hold onto this and really get into my model, which is really cool. Um, so you're only limited by your imagination what you can do. I mean, come on. Ugh. I 3D printed a desk vise to help hold some of this stuff as I work on it. This is completely 3D printed except for the felt pads that I put on there. And it works great. And it's very light. It's very effective for me to work with. It's a great tool. So you're only limited by your imagination what you can do with 3D printing. So we're gonna hop to some time lapses 
of all the, of probably a lot of the paint holders and the shelves and different things like that. But think about it, guys. If you have a shop, a 3D printer is just another tool to add to your workspace to help expand your workspace. Now, 3D printing is not going to be art for everything. Should I use it to help fix my axle in my car? Probably not, but I need to fix some of the interior of my car. Okay, let's talk about it. But it's kind of one of those things applied in the right application in the, a method. This is just one way to do it. This is what I needed to do with my 3D printer to organize my space so that I can make cooler stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's hop to some time lapses of the stuff that I made and then we'll uh, wrap this one up. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, it's just giving you ideas of what you can do with this to help with your organization. Uh, like even on that pegboard, the paper towel holder was 3D printed. And there's a lot of cool models on out there, out there on all the sites to help you with this organization and build your shop to what you're looking for. I'm just trying to give you the idea and help point you in the right direction to what you're hoping to achieve. And like I said, for me, it's a process. I print it, I have to, deburr it, clean it, get the supports off. And then, yeah, I like to try to paint, which not a lot of these behind me are painted. Um, or some are in the middle of being painted. Uh, Master Chief was the latest one that I've been working on and I'm debating whether I want to make his armor look old or do wash. Do you guys want a video on Master Chief? Leave me a comment down below and I'll gladly do one if you guys want to see that. So just like with the Mandalorian armor, I was having to do that out my garage because I just didn't have a space to work on it, which I've made that space now for me to actually sit and work on models. My airbrush is right there now too. So it's kind of one of those things. It's a growing experience, but think of 3D printing as, as a way to print what you need um, instead of having to buy it. That's the whole point of the 3D printer is to make it to where I can take this roll of $20 filament and save myself a lot of money by printing what I need. That's the whole real key. Now, printing the toys and stuff, yeah, that's fun. I enjoy do making these things and having the hobby, but I also do organizational things. And like I said, if you guys want to see the five organizational things I made for the kitchen, if you want that to be a video, leave me a comment down below as well and let me know. So, hope you guys subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will see you guys in the next video.